Okay, so on your notes from Friday, guys. Subtract fractions and add mixed numbers. Um, we started those on Friday, and I told you we would just do one more example today, Haley and Maya. And I will give you the rest of the time to work on your homework, if, if that's enough, which I think one more example will refresh your memory enough for you guys to be just fine. Brady, give me a fraction. And again, you're just adding these to Friday's notes. Nope, just a fraction. Any, it can be uh, improper or proper. 22 sevenths, okay, he's using the pi fraction. If we divided that out, it would actually be a little bit more accurate than 3.14. Um, it would have a few more digits of it, okay? 22 sevenths minus, let's do 3 fourths. Hold on, we can't do that one yet. Hold on, I have to, I'm, I'm doing math in my head. We're not regrouping yet, and that one we'd have to regroup. Let's do minus one tenth. Do you have a pencil? Okay, before we can add or subtract fractions, Brody, what has to be true about my two fractions? Yeah, the denominator must be the same. Lori, can you think of something that 7 and 10 both go into? 70. 70. So again, I'm going to work down. I'm going to show that I need this one to be 70, and I need that one to be 70. Sophie, how do I turn a 7 into a 70? Um, Using multiplication or division? Divide. 7 times what equals 70? times 10. So I'm going to show times 10. If I multiply the bottom by 10, I also have to multiply the top by 10. Kendall, what's 22 times 10? 220. You guys can thank Brady for this large number. On the other side, Nate, how do I turn a 10 into a 70? Multiplying by 7, so times 7. 1 times 7 is 7. Jude, now that I have a common denominator, what do I need to do? Subtract, Subtract what? 200 minus okay, 220 minus 7 is 213 over 70. Dane, is that a good final answer? No. Why not? It's not, it's not simplified. How do I simplify an improper fraction, Parker? Yeah, this is one that I'm going to have to divide out. I'm going to come over here to the side. Now, this one seems harder because we're dividing by 70. What can we focus on? Parker? Yeah, the 7. So, Parker, how many times does 7 go into 21? 3 times. Lori, what's 70 times 3? 210. Good job. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 3 up here. That's 210. I have 3 left over. Nate, how do I write that as a mixed number? Uh, three over nine, three over so 3 and then, yep, the 3, the leftovers, the remainder becomes my numerator. So 3 and 3 seventieths. Typically when we subtract, do we get mixed number answers? If we're subtracting a regular uh, proper fraction minus a proper fraction. No. no. So why did we get a mixed number on this one, do you think? Bryce? Yeah, because our first number was improper. And you guys, what is the decimal equivalency of 22 sevenths? What? No, not. So think about that. 3.14, I just told you that, okay? So does it make sense that if I take 3.14 minus something, I would get 3 point th something? Yes. yes, okay? So that's where that whole number came from, is Brody, or Brady gave us the 22 sevenths as a fraction. Okay, there is one a subtraction problem. 
Let's do one adding mixed numbers. Let's do eight and one fourth plus three and two thirds. Raise your hand, and I, on, on Friday I kind of left it up to you. Raise your hand if you like the vertical format the best. Lining them up, up and down. Okay, and that's what I noticed Friday you guys tend to gravitate towards, so that's the way I will do it. So I'm going to set them up vertically. Eight and one fourth plus three and two thirds. I'm still adding fractions, so what do I still need to do, Bryson? Before I can add, what do I need to do? Yeah, I have to get the denominators the same. Caden, can you think of something that 3 and 4 both go into? 12. 12. Okay, so I want this one to be 8 and something over 12. And I want this one to be 3 and something over 12. Sophia, how do I make a 4 and become a 12? By 3. Multiplying it by 3. So if I multiply the 4 by 3, what else do I have to multiply by 3, Soph? The top. The top. So 1 times 3 is 3. On the bottom, max, what do I do? Multiply it by 4. Good job. So I have to multiply the 2 by 4. Now that I have common denominators, what do I do, Kendall? We'll add. add what? Okay, three, 3 plus 8 is 11 twelfths. What happens if right there I get an improper fraction? Bryce? You'd have to divide. I'd have to divide it out to a mixed number. Yep, good job. Am I done? Is my answer 11 twelfths? No. What else, Kendall? 8 plus, 11. Eight plus 3 is 11. So final answer is 11 and 11 twelfths because I don't need to simplify. Should we check for simplifying there? Yeah. Yes. When do we simplify? This Maya? If the fraction is, is Yeah, always. The answer is always. Anytime we're giving an answer, we always see if the, it can be simplified. And she is correct. If it's an improper fraction, to simplify it, we flip it to a mixed number. If it's a proper fraction, we see if there are any factors that go into both the numerator and the denominator. Okay. Um, real quick, pull out your weekly worksheet. 13 is blank. Let's do, let's just add in a fraction problem there. I can't remember what the one actually was. Let's do one fourth plus three fifths. One fourth plus three fifths. Make that problem number 13 on your weekly worksheet. Okay, and your homework is, you are able to do it in your textbook today. It is split over two pages. Why do you think it's split over two separate pages? Jude, why do you think I split it over two separate pages? Because it's two completely separate skills. You have 12 problems altogether, six subtracting fractions, six adding mixed numbers. You also have about 30 minutes of class time, okay? So if you get your 12 um, fraction problems done, what do you think I want you working on? Weekly, Weekly worksheet. worksheet, okay? So your homework is page 653, just the evens. What does that mean? Like, yep, and, and there's six of them, okay? And page 6. 79 just the even so my suggestion is the first thing when you get to those pages circle 2 4 6 8 10 12 on both pages to where you know which ones you have to do and you don't do any extra so you should have 12 problems all together you guys have the rest of the time to work